Yo, Guesty here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a hidden staircase and, and I'll also teach you how to make a hidden door while I'm there. All with pistons, by the way. So, um, first off, I think I'll just show you what I've got going on here, and then we'll get into the tutorial side of things a little bit later on. So, here we go. Oh man, there's a creeper. Oh man. Let's get in here. Where's the creeper at? Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Alright. Come on, buddy. Oh, that was close. But, no worries. So, as you can see, this is a little contraption that I've made. And if I hit this again, you got to get the stairs back out. So, what happens is it starts off with a hidden door. Just here. Uh, these two blocks. And then pistons take them back and shoot out the staircases on the side there so one more time so hit it and walk all the way down cool and uh, I was planning on continuing it down but like around the corner but there's I don't you know there's no point in doing that because it's all pretty simple so um yeah that's about it I'm not like a master redstone but uh well some monsters getting around but uh, I am definitely keen to start getting a bit better at it. So let's get into this uh, tutorial. Right, so I've uh, stripped the contraption back to, uh, back to its bare essentials. And now you should be able to see everything in action if I hit it again. So that's the stairs. And this is the uh, earthen blocks that we use to um, block up the door or the hidden door and this uh, this hidden door uh, machine I was uh, looking around on YouTube today and came across a video by Brenny Beast and he explained how to actually make this and oh, well, it's, it's something similar in terms of the uh, door itself and then that gave me the idea for the stairs and and I slightly modified what he did but yeah so just so, just so you know so let's actually get into the nuts and bolts of this uh, this machine. So if we have a look down here, um, I'll follow the circuit through just so you can sort of have a look at what happens. This um, this lever here activates the redstone below. So if I hit this, I'll turn it all off. So that hits that redstone below, and then I've got a circuit here, and this uh, piston here is like the cutoff switch, which is the uh, switch I hit at the very bottom of the stairs. And when the creeper was chasing me and it deactivated everything, but I'll get into that a little bit later. So, just ignoring this for a second, it's just pretty much redstone and it will split off. And this here is what activates the stairs, and this section will go up the top and activate all the pistons. So, I think I'll look at the uh, hidden door first. Alright, now, here's the... Uh, the uh, door section. So pretty much once the uh, red stone gets up here, I've got an inverter, and that's just so it works in uh, works in with the staircase because one needs to be activated and the other one needs to be disactivated, like unactivated. So that's that's the whole purpose of the inverter. And then red stone comes across, and it will hit these two repeaters first, and that is these four pistons here. There's actually four of them. So one, two, three, four underneath. And that pushes this pistons and these two blocks here out and in. So if you watch them, out and in. And then what happens is it will continue on. And I've got some redstone up here. And it activates this block here. Actually, no. Doesn't even. It just activates this block here, and that is what activates this piston here. Now, in Brenny's video, he didn't need to have redstone for the bottom uh, piston. It just was activated by the top one, I'm not exactly sure. But uh, that was a bit buggy for me. So I sent a, another branch of redstone out and with a repeater and activated this block here using the redstone and that's what activates the bottom piston and it's you know it's got a hundred percent um you know a hundred percent working every time so that's uh that sums up the hidden door 
Uh, I might just uh, do a tutorial on it if you really want me to. Anyway, let's move on to the staircase, the, uh, the more in, uh, important part. So what happens is this second section of redstone follows down here. Now I've got a whole heap of pistons running down the side of the uh, inside wall of the where the stairs go. And then if we take out this block here, hang on, fly on. So you can see that I've got all the stairs attached to the pistons. Now, when these are in, that just looks like this. Um, and pretty much it's just it's just a set of pistons being activated after uh, like um, and with delay due to repeaters. And I was having a bit of a play around trying to work out the best way to do it. Um, obviously, you could just have a repeater and then two repeaters, three repeaters, or however many you want, depending on the delay you want. But eventually, um, you know, your repeater, you're going to have however many repeaters for number of stairs. So it's it's going to take up a lot of space. So what I was, I was trying to have a play around with, uh, you know, as you can see, I've got two repeaters. Um, on the third one, I come out for the redstone, which means it's activated at the same time as this one. And then it activates its own repeater. So these two stairs actually come out at the same time. So, you know, it's, you're not going to get that uh, cascading effect of stairs the whole way if you do do it this way. But, um, you know, it's definitely a lot more compact than having repeaters going all the way back here. So, uh, like, I mean, if there's a better way that you guys know of uh, using the repeaters, then all, by all means, let me know. Um, but, yeah. So let's uh, move on. What, I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make like a smaller version of the stairs just to give you a rundown of exactly what meant to happen. So get rid of fly. Um, we'll go like this. So we've got a piston and then go here. I'll make it sort of above the ground just for uh, purposes sim like simplicity. All right, we'll do three stairs. So we've got our three stairs. And then let's just say we've got our switch, uh, and it can be. Ooh, and we'll just build up here. Cool. One more. All right. So let's just say our switch can be on this pole right here, this block, and then the stairs will come out to here when they're activated. So I'll go across one more here. Sweet, and we should be able to just walk straight down these stairs after we finish making this. So first off, I like to hook up my button just so I've got a bit of a tester for everything I do along the way. And then if I hit this, this will activate this redstone. And then I'll come out here and I'll check a repeater in. And I'm also going to... No, actually, I'll save that for later. I was going to chuck the cutoff switch in, but I'll save that for later just because it's a could get a bit confusing if I put that in now. Um, I'll send these along and for this one I'm just going to show you all with their own you know separate repeaters. So this first one we can just put one repeater on it or however long we want the delay to be. The second one we'll put two repeaters on and this last one we'll put three repeaters on. So I don't even need them there. I don't know why I put that there. So if we go up here put this here and then we put we actually need one there because otherwise the redstone won't activate that um, repeater. Um, and we come across and up. And that activates that top piston there. And then if we send this across again, we're going to get this one activating. In fact, we don't even need all this. We can just send it down the line this way. The only problem with this way and that's also another reason for me adding the, uh, you know, less repeaters and then getting rid of a repeater um, once I had, I think, over four repeaters just so I could um, still have, you know, a decent delay on the actual pistons is so I could continue the uh, redstone flow because it only goes 18 blocks. I'm not exactly sure how many blocks, but it doesn't go, like, a whole lot of blocks before you have to, you know, put a repeater in or put redstone torch in or have something reactivate it. So, um, 
We're not going to need it for this one, but I'm just letting you know that's what what the uh, what happened. So that's uh, that's all three uh, pistons activated now. And then if we just chuck these on maximum delay, waiting them out. Right click three times, and also put this one on maximum delay. And then if we jump back up and we turn this off it should all flow. So if I hit this they all flow out and then if you can imagine that in a big like a uh, cavern like it was over there it would look pretty cool with these uh, cascading staircases running down. I'm actually going to implement this uh, staircase and hidden door in uh, my let's play but that's going to be a little bit down the track not too far but we just have to do a few things first like getting slime for one and also it's gonna have uh, something to do with the nether and for those of you who don't know about the nether you'll very shortly find out okay now all we gotta do is make the uh, lock off switch or the safety switch or whatever you want to call it which is the button or the lever that I hit when I ran down the bottom when the creeper was chasing me and it actually deactivated all these stairs which is a pretty cool feature actually so what we're going to do we're going to act like this is the uh, last block and we'll put it here so put a lever on top of that and then what you want to do is mine under that and get some redstone because that will activate it underneath there and you want to put it before it hits all this all this um, all this mess <laughs> so I reckon we'll put it here just for the uh, sake of this tutorial and what we'll do we'll go along like this and then um, we actually modify the, the circuitry itself so take out one of the redstone and put in, actually take out three of them and then you need to put repeaters either side you don't actually have to put repeaters either side, I just like to do it just because it resets the circuit and makes it so it, you know, is re going to restart so then we put a piston and it goes not right next to it but here and then uh, all we got to do is hook up this piston to the actual circuit put it there and then this will activate it okay as you can see um, the safety switch or the cutoff switch which I actually just realized is one block too far so we're going to fix that up right now it needs to be here actually so I'll just chuck it in here and we can put the lever on top get rid of this a bit more redstone done cool so safety switch that is like the on position which means that um, it's the circuits gonna flow and uh, but this is still our master switch so we can hit this anytime and it's still gonna activate and then if we run down here we hit this switch uh, after we get down hit the switch and it's gonna deactivate the whole thing well that pretty much sums up the uh, hidden staircase video it's a pretty simple one but uh, definitely could be very cool when uh, when used in the right situation, especially with uh, in conjunction with the hidden door. So I think there's just one last thing for me to do, and I think that's to lure another monster in. We get a zombie. We get a couple of zombies. Oh, we got two zombies. Crap. All right. Running scared. Away from some zombies. Come on. I'm really scared. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go. Come on. Where they at? Where's the other one? There's only one left. Alright. Too bad. See you, buddy. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Guests are here. Let me know if there are any other mods or tutorials you'd like me to do. Also, uh, give me some feedback on this one and what you thought. And, I don't know. Peace! Hey.